in 2009, my girlfriend and I were living in different cities. So we only saw each other every few weeks. Before one of her visits, I asked her to bring something nice to wear because I wanted to take her somewhere special and I had a surprise for her. So I took her to this fancy restaurant in a lovely old house. It was candlelight, people playing the piano. It was super romantic. And halfway through the meal, some of the waiters started singing an opera. Because that was the surprise. It wasn't just a fancy restaurant. It was also a music school. And everyone who worked there was being trained as a classical musician, which I thought was pretty cool. But Patricia didn't seem very impressed. In fact, she seemed a bit nervous. She wasn't talking much. She was peeking at her food. And I asked if everything was okay, and she said it was, so I just laughed at that. A while later, she admitted to me why she had been acting so strange that day. It's because she thought I was going to propose, and she even thought I would, be, I would have hidden an engagement ring inside her food, which I thought was a bit crazy. But then I asked some of my female friends, and they said, of course, you idiot. You've been in a serious relationship with a woman and you tell her you have a surprise? Of course she's going to assume you're going to propose, you moron. And that's when I learned the importance of knowing your audience and having a clear message. Now, when I asked her to marry me a few months after that, she still said yes. But your customers might never give you a second chance. And that is why in love, but especially in business, you need to understand your audience and get your message right.